Good evening, everyone. As legal marijuana continues to spread across the country, the industry reports a 10% spike last year in the sale of edibles. Tonight, Kathy Sweeney continues her in-depth look at Missouri's Amendment 3 with a focus on these portable pot products growing in popularity. Jeff, edibles are products you can eat or even drink that contain THC. Now, two big questions here regarding your rights under Amendment 3. Just how many edibles can you have? And then what happens if your legal weed falls into the hands of children? So there's several, several packages, several different styles. Cape Girardeau uh, Patrolman Bobby Newton pulls out handfuls of edible packets seized in a drug distribution case he worked back in 2019. Yeah, so this is a peach ring. And he opens one of the packages to give us a closer look. As you can tell to a eight, nine, ten year old kid, they're not going to know the difference between that and a real peach ring. He then opens an actual bag of candy to compare. Okay, so this is candy. That's candy. That's a THC infused. Correct. Candy. Not much difference. Not a lot of difference at all. I sat down with former Stoddard County Prosecuting Attorney Russ Oliver to learn more about Amendment 3. As I asked him about edibles, I showed him this evidence photo from KPD. If I can only have three ounces of marijuana, how many gummy packets can I have? Or has that even been addressed? That's a good question. Uh, I, who knows? It's basically silent about uh, quantity of uh, edible product that they can have and also um, concentration, right? Someone could do, you know, a 9900% infused THC that is um, is got a lot more potency than than something that would have, you know, 20%, right? And so it doesn't say how much THC you can have and how much that's regulated. Amendment 3 does give the Department of Health and Senior Services the ability to lay out certain edible packaging rules. They include, quote, requirements that packaging and labels shall not be made attractive to children. But Oliver points out there's nothing in the amendment to address what happens when an adult's legal pot products get into the hands of children. Nowhere in Amendment 3 does it say it is a, a class A misdemeanor or a class E felony to sell to a child under the age of 21, right? Nowhere in it. It just says we're not saying in this amendment that somebody under 21 has the right to smoke marijuana. That would have to come from lawmakers in Jefferson City, Oliver says. Same thing goes for holding a minor accountable for having weed. The minor in possession law uh, in Missouri is specific to alcohol. It's uh, specific to intoxicating liquors um, that um, someone under 21 having alcohol is a crime. The minor in possession statute does not uh, mention THC um, because at the time that statute was passed, right, marijuana was illegal for anyone to possess. Back at the Cape Girardeau Police Department, officers tell me they'll look to Missouri's current child endangerment laws for guidance on protecting kids in their city. Uh, it's your job and responsibility as an adult to protect minors, especially in, in your care. So the same as you would be endangering, you know, a 10 year old by leaving alcohol in their bedroom, you'd be endangering a child by leaving, you know, marijuana where they can access it and, you know, use it or disperse it amongst their friends. We still have other laws that may not be marijuana specific that protect endangering children, that protect impaired driving. So even though it doesn't specifically say it's a marijuana offense, it's still an offense to endanger your child. It's still an offense to drive impaired no matter what you're under. You heard Chief Blair mentioning driving impaired, which is against the law no matter what drug is in your system, legal or illegal. But does Amendment 3 lay out an actual standard for driving while high? And are there ways officers can distinguish between a driver who's had a few drinks or one that's had a few hits? We'll take a closer look at Amendment 3 and impaired driving right here tomorrow night. Kathy Sweeney, Heartland News.